and y'all was on that 2020 team, like Moose said, bro. Like that, that team don't get the respect because it's the bubble, right? Niggas say that, oh man, the bubble ring don't count. <clears throat> but everybody who was in the bubble who didn't win, ironically, always got a story about how they didn't want to be there. Go, 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 go look at it before the bubble. Who was the best team? In the we league? was the best team. The only thing I'm mad about that is they didn't keep all of us together. You wanna know why we? What y'all was all in different hotels? Uh, our team chemistry was through the roof. It was uh, through the roof, <laughs> bro. We had it was through the so roof. Much it was the best. There, it was bad. It was crazy, hey, man. Dude, what you said the other day in the car when you knew you were going? When I knew we was going to win when we was in China, and we went to the club, and. Uh, JaVale was on the mic singing uh, <laughs> Bad and Bougie. Yeah, man. He was rapping the song and Kuz was in the uh Kuz was on the DJ. I said, yo, we gonna win the championship. The whole team is in the club. Like whole team, bro, everybody. We in there going crazy. This is the first time all of us was together. Every, I said, that, that team, we went <clears throat> everywhere together. Like, everywhere. Not, and, and for the people who watch, that's not normal, right? That's not hell. normal. And the especially NBA, with, the, with the team we got. You got guys making 70 Come on, million, man. 40 million. To, we all no. together. We go somewhere. No, Most okay. teams, people just go their separate way. That Lakers team, bro, we <laughs> went everywhere <laughs> together, bro. Everywhere. That's how I knew it was going to win. Everywhere. To the franchise guy. We went everywhere together, bro. Party together, everything. We was always together. And when that's we touched down in the city, we, we, all, we all met up in one room, bro. We going to have, you know, we did whatever we, like, it was just, it was always team correct. And that's why I'm mad they, they broke us apart, man. And, it, and, like, and they haven't really had that type on, of chemistry man. since. Yeah. Look who was on the team. And it's crazy because two back. guys that they saw are really bad teammates <laughs> was a part of a team that had the probably great chemistry. the greatest the best chemistry, chemistry bro. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so both of y'all saying, so was that, that was like the best chemistry team that y'all ever been ever. on? Ever. I've we was seen. always together. I, I'm talking oh, about high school, middle, ever. like I've never seen 100%. a team operate the way that 2020 team did. Lakers team. And it's I've weird, never bro, seen. Because right after y'all won, y'all started tweaking the shit. Well, not y'all. No, they they started tweaking us, the roster. Man. I'm gonna tell you who it was. <laughs> Rob Palinka, man. This God, shit. Rob, why you do that to us, man? This nigga, Rob, out of Rob, Rob, come on, man. Rob, did bad with that. Man, Rob, Rob, Rob. I still love you, Rob, but dang, man, you, man, we had the squad, bro. Even if could have ran it back, we could have ran it back. We would have been healthier for next year. Cause I look at teams like I look at teams like the Celtics, bro. It don't matter who you is. They, they, they signed everybody back. They, they gave Sam Hauser like 47 million. Yeah. They brought their whole bench bro, back. Bro, bro, they brought yeah. every That's how you're supposed to do it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They brought everybody back, bro. Come on. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Even the two-way guys they brought back, bro. i never forget that for the rest of my life, bro. Mm -hmm. That shit probably going to sting me for a minute, bro. I swear I felt like we, we could have won three. At least got to the finals three times. I don't see nobody beating us. And y'all beat Jokic that year. It wasn't even about Jokic. No, no, no. I'm telling you, man. It wasn't even about them for real. Phoenix. We weren't even worried about them. I promise you. Phoenix, we Phoenix went to the, the finals that Tell year. Tell we wasn't worried yeah, about yeah, Denver, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. We knew how to t man. Nah. Like, we, we was not I worried about I say that because after y'all broke up, that's when the niggas started to get on that. They started to. They started to rise. I so think they saying. also want to. I think they also want to want to like when it comes to you know building a championship team and, and a team of success. Like, the, like obviously you got to have your two stars and they have that and LeBron and AD. Yep. But you got to have pieces that complement your stars. And yeah, it may necessarily complement LeBron, but if you've paid attention to AD's career, like, and I've it has never made sense to me. AD's greatest years is when he's playing the four. Yep. Mm. He won a championship. He don't like playing, playing the five. He, he, he said it a hundred times. He said it himself. A hundred times. Yeah. He said, I don't like playing the but five. But for some reason, this GM, like, nah, we'll put you at the five. <laughs> and we don't I'm need gonna keep the other signing other shit. The nigga said it a thousand I'm times. I'm going to sign Mark Gasol. And it's like. At 39. Your franchise guy just told I you, love like, Mark Gasol, you I want to play the four. I want to be able to roam on the floor, move around everywhere. We're going to have a big in the back to protect, to, to also have my back and compliment me so I can be the best version of myself. And AD. Nah. They're going to go opposite. It, it makes no sense. And, and, the, and the rim protection y'all had was crazy because y'all had AD, 
You had the white, and you had JaVale. That rim protection was crazy. So when it came to playing a team like Denver to, get, to make it to the championship, it was tough for anybody in the school. Absolutely. Bro, that shit was crazy. Went, we could have we could have had We could have had three. We could have had at least. I, I just, say I just we wish we had two in a row. We would have won back to back. So fuck it. Let me, I'm, I'm going to ask you then. Fuck it. I'm going to ask you. If y'all play the Clippers with that team and the chemistry y'all said, because the Clippers was the team the niggas was saying y'all should look out for. Y'all winning that series what? The next year? Yeah. Yes, man. What are you I, no, saying? No, I said y'all winning the series what? What's yeah. the series? Whatever. 4-0. Four, oh. Y'all sweeping them, bro. I, I, That's I, out of pocket, I'll say 4-2. 4-2. Four, two. Four, four, two. Two. I'm sweet. We I'll sweeping four, everybody the next year. Why is that? Are you talking about the next year? The no, next saying, year. Bro. After we done already won the chip, we sweeping everybody the next year because everybody coming back healthier. Stronger and better. Wait, you asked why that the question? Play. I didn't play that year. He didn't even yeah, play. Yeah. So th that's what I'm saying. Now you got me, him, JaVale, and AD. Curtains. Y'all had a, Come on, had man. a big ass lineup. Y'all still had Kuz at the time, and too. Kuz. That was a big ass. And KCP. And, and, and Avery Bradley. Alice Caruso. And Alice Caruso. I forgot so. Because Avery Bradley ain't making it to the man. bubble. I forgot y'all had go Avery to the Bradley. Bubble. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And they talking about the Lakers, champ the bubble championship. Nobody wanted to win, and it was just a, a sorry championship. Okay, we was gonna win anyway. Right, right, right. Our last, our last two games before the bubble, we played Milwaukee on Friday, smacked them, and they end up winning the championship the next year. Yeah. Then we played the Clippers on Sunday, ABC, clapped them, and then the bubble. I mean, then COVID happened. Let me ask y'all this too, because this this is what's talked about along with like a lot of basketball niggas too. You play with Steph, you play with the Warriors, you play with some great guys. You play along AD, you had your own team in sack, you play with some great guys. Dwight, you, you was your own man. Is it true that playing on any LeBron James team, like the pressure is just crazy? Like you gotta win. Y'all play different places, but like playing with Bron, like you and if you don't, they looking for a reason. Why y'all niggas ain't win? I mean, because I hear that shit all the time, but I want to ask people who actually play with Bron. I think it's, I think it, I don't even think it's just about Bron. Like when you're in the presence of greatness, it's gonna always be pressure. Like because you gotta rise to the, the greatness isn't gonna come down to your level. You gotta rise up to that level of greatness. So it's, it's obviously gonna be pressure. But that's why I disagree though, because if KD's great. If you play with KD, I don't think it's the same amount of pressure on you if you play with Bron. I think KD is great, but when it comes to LeBron, you. It's almost a ninety percent chance you're competing for a championship, and that's no knock to KD. It's just, no, just it's more compliment to the greatness of LeBron. Like LeBron, you're yeah, you're competing it's like for you, a championship. You, we going to the chip. Like, it's not about having a great regular season. That's LeBron right. don't even give a fuck about the regular season. Yeah. LeBron's competing for a championship every single season, like, and that's just the difference. I'm telling you, we just had that mindset like we're gonna win every game. We was playing in LA. That's what we was thinking. Like, there's no we we gonna go 82 and 0. But do you feel like like some players in free agency might shy away from that? Like, nah, bro, I ain't going over there, bro. That shit, that shit. It is. They probably they probably yeah. are. I mean, the NBA it, it's it's a lot of different personalities, a lot of different intentions. Some guys just in it from the check. This is guys that get to the league and stop loving that shit right away. Yeah. I heard some like, stories. I ain't gonna, I yeah, so I it's like it's a lot of different intentions in the league. But on the other side of that, it's like Bron has turned up a lot of guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. A lot of guys. Like, Mo Williams household yeah. names. Yeah. Mo Williams, Cole, Caruso, Booby, Booby Bella Gibson. Vanova, Boo. We were talking about last night. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shane Batty, Mike Miller. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Booby Gibson, nigga. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Booby Gibson, the yeah. household name now because yeah. of Booby Gibson. If you if you a solid if you a solid role player. Yeah, Brian, Brian will definitely make you a household name for sure. It ain't even about being a solid role player. You just got to have that dog type mentality. That's like, that's it. That's what it is. Like, to play at that level and handle that type of pressure, you got to have an I don't give a gotta fuck. You got to be a dog. Got to. That's the only way. I mean, because that pressure can crumble you. It's so much that comes along with winning the championship. It's the criticism, it's the failures, it's the ups and downs. Like, it's a lot that come with it. So, you got to have an attitude like, fuck it. Like, Cause it's gonna be a lot of times you fuck up, like, and if you just a motherfucker like J.R. Smith, like, you know he went through that viral moment yeah. that you know everybody <laughs> made a meme out of, but like, yeah. the average person would never be able to handle a situation like that. Uh, like they person, would crumble. Average person can't fuck with J.R. Smith either, man. Yeah, but niggas forget how cold Jr. But you gotta have a different type of mental to even like have a moment like that and then recover from it. Yeah, like that's tough to do. Like everybody in the world is talking about. A mistake you made, like at the end of the day, this is a children's game. Like this, 
this is a game. Yeah. Like, like let's just keep it a buck. But the pressure that comes along with it is it's it's unmatched, bro. That's just that's just keeping it real.